Hello, I welcome you all. Uh, the problem reads, uh, determine the distance A as a fraction of the beam's length L for locating the roller support so that the moment in the beam at B is zero. And later on, I'm adding, and later on, draw the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram. So we're also going to draw that after we found uh the distance a which is a fraction of the beam's length l right so this problem is coming from uh, the engineering mechanics uh, statics uh, textbook the tenth edition by rc bella so let's draw the free body diagram at a at a we expect to have this is a roller so we are going to have a y like so and then at c we are going to have c y as well as uh, cx let's apply the equations of equilibrium uh, we are going to have summation summation of moments about point c okay equal to zero and clockwise being our reference so what do we have we have a p by l over three L over 3 okay and then we have another P by L okay and then we have a minus AY when you look at the distance AY from there to uh, C this distance here is just L minus A right just L minus A right so this is going to be equal to L minus A equal to 0 okay so when we sum up the two this will become a 4 PL divided by 3 right minus LY L minus A equal to 0 and therefore making a y substitute formula a y will just be equal to uh, 4 p l divided by 3 l minus a okay and then we have summation of forces in the y so that we find the other one which is uh, uh c y so we'll have a y uh, plus cy minus two p's okay and then cy will just be equal to two p minus ay okay we already calculated what ay is so we'll just replace ay there and when we do so we're going to have cy is equal to two p minus 4pl divided by 3l 3, 3 in brackets l minus a and therefore writing this we are going to have a 2p open brackets 1 minus 2l divided by 3l minus a and we close bracket the bigger brackets okay do something like that let me just rub again here i write this so we have a 2p we have a 2p 2p bigger bracket n1 minus 2l 3 minus a okay 3l minus a so we have these values we can write them here we have a cl C, C, Y, which is just 2P, and then we have a 1 minus 2L divided by uh, 3L minus A. Okay, right, and then AY. Ay is just equal to uh, 
4 pl divided by 3 l minus a all right so with this information what we are going to do is we are going to make a section here at b so we have the right hand side section and the left hand side section of course we are going to use the simpler one which is the left hand side section and we've been told that we are supposed to find the length or distance a so that the moment at b is equal to zero right let's draw that let's draw our section there we go so this point is c uh, this point is c and we have a reaction force there of 2p uh, 1 minus 2l divided by 3 l minus a okay this point is b let's say we have a force there at this point let's say we have uh, since we are looking at moment it doesn't matter where we section whether to the left or to the right so our section is to the right of p i mean to the left of p okay we have a p there and then we are going to have our shear force using our convention that is going to be our v b and then this is going to be our mb okay and uh if any any normal force there but we are not interested in all this what we just want ourselves is to uh, make M mb equal to zero this is a over three okay so let's take moments about point b summation of moments about point b equal to zero and clockwise being our reference what do we have we have 2p times 1 minus 2l divided by 3l minus a and then times the length which is l over 3 okay and then we have minus mb equal to 0 but we've been told that mb at or moment at b is supposed to be zero therefore this is supposed to be zero okay so we need to get rid of then we remain with this equation and when we simplify this equation we are just going to remain with one minus two l three l minus a equal to zero okay okay the others will be equal to zero okay the rest will all be equal to zero. Writing this equation, then we are going to have 2L divided by 3L minus A is equal to 1. And therefore, 3L minus 3A uh, is going to be equal to 2L. Okay. And then later on, we'll have 3A is equal to 3L minus 2L then a is equal to just l over 3 so found what a is so let's now redraw this since we know what a, a l is a here we said is l over 3 okay so it means also this distance here this distance here is going to be equal to l over 3 okay and then eventually this this becomes equal to if we are to simplify this further this becomes equal to let me use blue this becomes equal to this becomes equal to 2p 1 minus 2l divided by 3 l minus l minus l over 3 just 2 over 3l so this cancels, this cancels, this cancels, this cancels, this becomes 1, and therefore this becomes all 0. Okay. Then this one, uh, this one when we simplify it, it becomes, uh, that is ay equal to 4pl over 3, uh, 2 over 3l, like so, this and this goes, 
this goes so this becomes 2p okay so with this information uh, we can quickly just draw the free body diagram we've already found the answer but we just indicated that we are going to also draw the free body diagram I mean the not a free body diagram the shear force and the bending moment diagram okay let's draw that quickly without wasting so much time this is the shear force See the shear force diagram and this is the bending moment diagram again we are using the two equations this time around I'm going to be fast we are using this the rate of change of moment with respect to s x is equal to v and moment is just the area under the shear diagram and the rate of change of shear with respect to x is equal to the distributed force and then shear itself is just equal to the area under the distributed force all right so we have positive up there we have positive up negative positive up negative all right so let's start drawing once the initial value at a i mean at this point let's call this point so we have a b c let's call this d okay let's call this d so at d at d we have the initial value of uh minus okay minus p let's call this minus p uh just p of course because down is minus all right and then later on we have because we don't have any from d to a um the q is equal to zero therefore shear is going to be constant right so we only have a straight line from there to here to a y once we reach at a y we have p uh, minus p plus 2p therefore this will jump to this is going to jump to p and then from uh, a to b we don't have any distributed load therefore the slope of our shear is just going to be constant and then when we reach another p plus p minus p then we get a zero like so right right all right and then let's draw the shear force i mean the bending moment diagram uh the bending moment diagram okay so this is positive and this is negative all right and then later on from this point onwards uh from uh, b to c uh no distributed force and then um uh, the slope of our shear will be zero so it's just going to be zero throughout from this point here no shear up to there okay and for sure we don't have anything up to that point okay we don't have anything up to that point great okay let's just uh All right, we move this just a little bit somewhere there. Great. So let's start with moment now. Moment, we know the shear is negative uh, and constant, and therefore the slope for moment will be. So negative this and is constant. negative. The boundary this condition at D, we don't have any. And of course, we say moment this there. value here is P. Uh, we don't have any moment. This is P. We expect moment this to be equal P. to zero. And, and we've shown and this that like uh, the moment is going to be equal to zero negative B. Uh, when so A is we expect equal to L, the slope uh, and the magnitude when A is equal this slope is L the area three. under the All shear right. diagram. It's a so p cos times is our final solution. Uh, L over a is p our final times solution. L over and L over um, three, which is just I L hope, over three. Uh, okay. The video. So if we are to draw this, if it was, we we'll just run from uh, there. Give me a thumbs up, up like the like video, like, like we said, negative constant like in my channel. All right. Bye bye. And so this value here my is next p screencast. This value here is p. Is p L over three okay negative all right then from here uh between a and b uh the shear is positive and constant slope for moment we post a positive and constant the magnitude of this is also 
uh, just a p this magnitude of the moment from a to b is just a p times l over 3 it's positive then when they interact with this negative p l over 3 what happens we have a zero so from here we expect a movement where this is going to move that is the slope we said is positive and constant right so we'll have a movement from there up to that point okay and then from b to c of course slope uh, shear is equal to zero we expect t slope for moment to be equal to zero but we don't have any magnitude here so we just expect a straight line from this point uh, zero moment from here to there like so up to there so this is negative this is negative and of course we said this value here is p this is p this is p and we've shown that uh, the moment is going to be equal to zero at b when a is equal to l uh, over three when a is equal to l over three all right so of course this is our final solution this is our final solution and um, i hope uh, the video was helpful if it was uh, give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel bye bye and i'll see you in my next uh, screencast